Hello guys, name's Rod Palmer. What I'll be doing today is documenting my journey from taking a US built Jayco Hummingbird. The van itself, or the travel trailer slash caravan, is a 17RB, that's a rear bath. And uh, I've shipped it from the USA where I purchased it. Bought it to Australia. Now I have to convert it to suit uh, Australian conditions and the fact is that we drive on the left side of the road so what, what's happened where is this door previously opened on the passenger side in the US that actually opens into the line of traffic now now we can't have that over here so to simplify it what I've done I've actually taken the Jayco itself off the chassis and what I'll be doing so I'm going to modify the chassis to uh, to suit our conditions over here. Now, to me, there's not enough cross members in here. So I've, I've taken the water tanks out and I've taken out just a minor little cross members that, that hold the water tank, the water tanks I should say, but they're, they're, they're flimsy. But I need to add some more cross members and what I will be doing is actually adding a drawbar to the back of the trailer and then cutting off the front one. So what that'll happen, that'll allow me to keep the van in the same configuration on the chassis so I don't have to swap tanks around, I don't have to muck around like that. But what, what, what it will mean is the door will then be on the correct side for use in Australia. Now until the door is on the correct side and the gas has been converted it's not compliant so I can't use it so I'll be posting up a few pictures um, and videos and loosely documenting my journey so yeah, it might, might come in handy for somebody that's thinking of doing it so and your question probably is why would you buy an American van and bring it to Australia why wouldn't you buy why wouldn't you buy an Australian van? Well, it comes down to personal preference, doesn't it? I, I actually, I like what the Americans produce. Um, admittedly, the chassis is a little bit light for Australia, but I, it's probably suitable for the US roads, but our roads aren't anywhere near as good as yours. Think Louisiana, everywhere. <laughs> So, uh, we'll be putting a heavy duty draw bar on it, stiffening up the chassis a little bit, and yeah, it's just doing a couple of mods to suit, suit us over here. And the fact is we're 240 volt too, so that makes it makes it a little bit harder too. So, but uh, yeah, it, it's, um, it's a little project that I'm, I'm looking forward to, and I, I hope you guys gain a little bit of knowledge out of it, if not just entertainment purpose, hey? Okay. See how we go.